Hello to all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about the enablement of Microsoft Entra ID authentication in an existing server, that is the SQL server and the SQL database for login. So the existing server has SQL authentication and now we want to secure it through Entra ID authentication by setting an admin. If you have slight idea about Entra ID authentication is that you have to set a single admin and then assign other users the roles to access the database securely. So in this example, on the page in the Azure portal, you can see a database CK SQL DB, which is there with the server CK SQL DB server, which is opened in another tab in our browser, which is you can see the server SQL server. If we go to the settings section under the Microsoft Entra ID, here we can see that the Entra authentication is not enabled. We have not set any admin. And if you go back to the SQL database and try to query the database, we have only the SQL server authentication enabled means by creation of the SQL server, we have given the login ID and password through which only we can log in. And if you try to log in with the Entra authentication here, with your portal login credentials. Let's try. You won't be able to log into the database. Let's wait. So yeah, you can see that the database on server is not available. Some message will come to you here. Okay. So, and yeah, if you try to log in through SQL server authentication and allow your IP, on the server yeah then you will be able to log into the sql database yep we have we have logged into the database and go back to the overview and yeah this is the server which is already opened here with no admin we'll try to go back let's try one more time to log in and it will throw another error message so mostly this login will be failed and the error will be shown as token identified principle server is not configured to accept this token. So when we try Entra authentication without enabling it, it will give some error here in the query editor. Or if you are logging using SQL Server Management Studio SSMS, then also you'll get the same error. Now, now in this video, we are going to go to the server and enable Entra authentication. You can see here Entra admin is none. No Microsoft Entra admin is assigned. So our first requirement is to set the admin. We'll click on set admin and go to the user section. In the user section, we'll select the admin and select it. We have a button enabled here called as save. So we'll save the admin setting the Entra admin is in progress, it completed. And now we can see here the admin name. Okay, so yeah, Entra admin is set for this server. Now, if you go back to the SQL database and try to log in using our admin, this was the admin which we have set. Let's click on continue. Now we can see the green sign and we could log into the query editor as well as if we try in the SSMS, it will be able to log in. So yeah. After enabling the Entra admin, we are able to log in to the database using the Entra ID. Another important thing to note is that you have to have the admin role in order to perform this operation. If you are some other user with less privilege, then you have to get that privilege or get this done by the admin. So in continuation to this, we'll also study Microsoft Entra authentication only. If we enable this option, it will only support Entra authentication to the server. Let's check this on. It will say that it will enable Entra only authentication and will disable the SQL authentication. So we'll click on yes for more secure access and click on save. So yeah, it is enabled, enabled Entra only authentication. If we go back to the database, Let's try to log out and try to again log into the query editor. This time we can log into the Entra authentication, but since we have enabled only Entra, then the SQL authentication should not work. 
So we'll click on OK. It will now give the same error that yeah, login for this failed. Azure Active Directory only authentication is enabled. Please contact your server administrator. So yeah, and this credential was given when we created the server. Now we'll go back. Now we don't want just Entra. We want both authentication. So we'll disable it. And again, we'll save the settings in the Entra ID page. We'll go back here. We'll try to log in to the SQL Server authentication. And this time we are able to. So yeah, this is how you can get single authentication that is SQL or you can get Entra and SQL both or just Entra and switch it back to Entra or SQL. I hope you've understood this video of Entra ID authentication, how we have to switch, how we have to log in in Azure portal. Thank you for watching this video. Do let me know in comments if you have any queries or doubts. Happy learning. Bye.